okay. So hopefully by now you are done with your frosting and your cupcake wrapper. And if you wanted sprinkles or a cherry or something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a line there to my cherry. I hadn't done that before. Okay, the last part, very important, is our background. We're gonna take this white and we're going to just put a nice layer. Remember, our first layer is not too heavy, not too dark. It's just a nice medium layer of pastel. I'm not pressing so hard, just kind of medium all over. You can do the same. Put in your white background all over. Nice clean strokes, do your best work. No scribbling and scratching like that, right? This is not coloring, that's not your best coloring, is it? No, we want nice, smooth, straight strokes starting here and then drawing it a little bit down as you go, doing your best coloring. We don't want that, we want this. Okay, so do your best coloring Nice and smooth, and also you want your strokes to go this way. That's gonna make it look nicer because that's the way the wood would be going on your table. Okay, except here at the edge, I'm gonna do this. Okay, there's my first layer, and you can see I've got some gaps. I need to fill this in, and I will. But remember, Wayne Tebow has those wonderful wonderful shadows. So if my light is right here, my sunshine or my light bulb is shining, my shadow is going to be on this side because this is my bright side, just like, well, like my hand here, just like my oil pastel. Let's see if I do this. It has a little bit of a shadow here, right? Because I have a light. My light is actually over here and so my shadow is casting a shadow here. But if my light was coming from here, my shadow would be over here, and I'm going to make it an oval shape. So if this is my cupcake, my shadow is going to be over here, okay? So get ready. Have you colored in your background by now? All right, if you're ready to go now, Let's grab a blue pastel because shadows look best when we make them in a cool color. So grab your blue pastel and here's how it's gonna go. We're gonna start about in the middle between our table and the bottom of the cupcake and we're going to make an oval and it's gonna come here and back up and around to right here, okay? Trace that, don't touch the paper, and trace it first to show yourself where you're gonna put it. You're gonna start on the back side of your wrapper, make an oval, and you're gonna come right up to the front corner right there. Okay, here we go, and I'm gonna do it lightly. Right there, there's my oval, that's my shadow. Okay, now I'm gonna color that in, but I've already colored the white. And so now I'm actually kind of blending. And I'm gonna maybe put some purple in there too, or a darker blue, um, as long as it's cool colors. And that really makes your cupcake look real. Okay, see that? Now I might put a little purple in there too, just because, why not? Purple can be a cool color. And I'm trying to get rid of all the black paper showing through. Now, you'll notice my table looks okay, but it could really benefit from another layer of white. So I'm gonna go back in and do another layer of white. See already that's looking so much better. You've done such a nice job on your cupcake you want the whole picture to look as wonderful as your cupcake. So now, take a few minutes and very nicely, without rushing, take some time 
and go back in and make your white table look very nice with an extra layer just to make it look nice and white. See, you can see the difference between this side and this side. This one's looking much better, much whiter and brighter. I'm being careful with my details. I'm being careful with how I do it. I'm sure that's what you're doing too. I'm even going to blend around the edge of my shadow here. You might want to do that too. Just kind of blend the edge of that shadow. Okay, I'm going to come in here. And I'm just doing a good job, careful job, coloring my table. Hopefully you're doing the same. And when I get to my shadow, I'm just gonna come around the edge of my shadow. And if it makes your shadow a little bigger, that's okay. I'm not gonna hurt anything. If it makes your shadow really pop out. All right, how is yours looking? I got a little mess here, but that's all right. All right, hopefully, I'm gonna put a little darkness in my cherry there. And I'm gonna put a little lightness here to make that pop out. Same here. You can put colors wherever you think there needs to be a little something. You can add things in. You might wanna add some more white there. I just like to fiddle with it. You might want some strokes in it or something. I don't know, I think that looks kind of fun. Okay, don't forget to sign your work now that you've done all this wonderful, beautiful work. And that's how you create a beautiful cupcake in Wayne Tebow style.